Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to actually be showing you some vinyl, but most everything that I have right here are these little Japanese mini LP sleeve releases, and I'm going to go through these. These are all Ski Lodge related, so if you're a Ski Lodge fan, definitely check out what I'm going to show you. If you're not a Ski Lodge fan yet, you'll see what type of music gets played on my radio show. This is Ski Lodge. Now let's start off with the vinyl. Now, I consider this stuff VCLT from my friend The Waxed. Okay, so I paid for them and I paid for shipping. But the thing is that he went through the trouble of finding them for me, texting me, asking me if I wanted them, buying them for me, shipping them for me. I consider that VCLT. So uh, the first things I want to show you, there are four albums from Tony Sandler and Ralph Young. And everybody knows they get played all the time on my show. So there's the Honey Come Back album. The Sunshine Days album, Side by Side, and more and more of Sandler and Young. Those are the first four LPs by Sandler and Young that I have. And again, with these titles that I'm going to show you here, uh, he went above and beyond, and he actually put in the sleeves, cleaned the vinyl. Uh, so again, I consider this all VCLT. These are three albums by a band called The Back Porch Majority, and they're kind of like New Christie Minstrels and some of the folky bands that were out there. In fact, they were led by Randy Sparks, the same person who handled New Christie Minstrels in their early days. This one's called That's the Way It's Going to Be. This is a live album by them. It's a popular one. I believe this might be on CD or CDR. And then there is Meet the Back Porch Majority. Great, wonderful folk music. I love this kind of stuff, and I don't play it enough on Ski Lodge, but I do try to fit some of the stuff in. Now I'm going to go through my Japanese mini LP sleeve type releases. These are all CDs, and uh, they're in mini cardboard sleeves, and a lot of them have the Obi strip. This right here is a fantastic album. This is uh, Miss Abrams and the Strawberry Point Fourth Grade Class. It's incredible because it's it's kind of a hippie folk, but it's also very childlike. It's it's charming. It's wonderful. And it's definitely something that I strongly recommend. You could probably find the album for a dollar and take it home and cherish it. It's fantastic. Of course, there's The Buoys, uh, the album with Timothy. The Candymen, this was uh, Roy Orbison's backing band. And this album is a little rockin', a little bit of psych in there. And it's a really fun CD. Here is the Caravels. It is a British singing duo. It's very charming and melodic. The Cookies is called Chains of Love. And of course, it has the song Chains, which, you know, the Beatles later covered, but a lot of other great songs in it as well. The Coronados. This is fantastic sunshine pop. I think they're from San Diego. It's really, really great. Two CDs from the Doodletown Pipers. Again, they're in that folky vein like New Christie Minstrels and the Back Porch Majority and the Golda Briars things like that love them the eighth day glorious sunshine pop wonderful glorious sunshine pop euphoria more sunshine pop this isn't actually a japanese cd it's more of a harder cardboard sturdy larger size but i put it in with my japanese mini lp sleeves here are two titles by the fifth dimension nicky hopkins of course he's played piano on tons of great records this is an album he put out in the 60s two albums by keith and this is great sort of bubblegummy pop the magnificent men you wouldn't know it by their Smiling Faces, but they are a great soul band, actually. The Match. Man, this is glorious sunshine pop. Again, not a Japanese CD, but this David McCollum uh, is sort of that mini LP sleeve. I still have no idea what he does. I think they just sort of put him in front, uh, but it's all instrumental, and it's really kind of fun. And there's the Mugwumps, which is pre-Mamas and the Papas and pre-Love and Spoonful group. The Mutual Understanding, more great sunshine pop. Tommy Rowe, this is a great album. The Sunshine Company, another great sunshine pop band with a little bit of psych thrown in for good measure. And finally, Robin Ward, Wonderful Summer, an early 60s album. Uh, this is the singer that ended up doing the Rice Aroni, the San Francisco treat tagline uh, on those famous commercials. And she also provided backing vocals for the Partridge Family. And that is it for this video i appreciate you sitting through this i love these little mini lpcs they don't exactly fit on my normal shelves but that's okay i have them set aside in a different area remember to like comment share subscribe ring that bell for future notifications leave a comment below and until the next time remember me i'm steve schnee the cd junkie